Hey now everybody, Phil Kira back with a start of a new series here. We're going to be starting a new old world here. Um, one of my all-time favorite games lately, so let's just get into it. I'm sure you'll hear about uh, all the things I like about it while we're playing. So I've never won a game by conquering everybody, so that is what I am going to do today. And for all of that, I'm going to be uh, Ashurbanipal of Assyria. Uh, I'm going to be playing on... Let's see, the strong, what's that, the middle one, I think? No, the good is the middle level. I'm going to be playing on the strong, which I can't win at, I don't think. Yeah, well, let's try the strong, see what happens. I, I haven't played on the strong, I don't think I'm going to win. But I'm not that good, so we'll see what happens. Maybe I'll do better because I'm paying more attention here. So... One of the things that I love about Old World is the order system. Um, and I just like the fact that it's something that you need to actively balance in your game between whether you want to move your army, whether you want to improve your resources, whether you want to do diplomacy. So, it's a lot, and I like it. Alright, so we're Ashurbanipal, great king, chosen to lead Assyria into the Old World. Name to rule before your elder brother, Prince Shamash Shum. The legacy of Assyria is now in your capable hands. Surrounded by enemies, you will need to use every skill at your disposal to help Assyria grow into the glorious empire your ancestors envisioned. The existing civilizations of this world do not yet know the glory and power of Assyria, but they are about to find out. Let's find our capital. Ba -ba 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 -na -na. Uh, let's see. We're getting those resources there, and... As I have old eyes, I want to turn on resources here. Uh, yeah, I think let's go here. That gets all the all the resources, but that horse, but those horses will come into range. Same with those sheepy. Yeah, I think the fish is too much of a it's too nice to pass up here. Uh, now, I am not going to found either of these military uh, families as my capital. They'll be my second cities here. So I just need to figure out if I want the patrons, the Adasi, or the clerics, the Erishum. What I think I might do is build the Erishum and found a religion. Yep, we have the Jewish Assyrians, of course. I think I would like to pick stone cutting here. Uh, but what we really need first is some nets. And there's probably a way for me to get a mod to change them a little bit. So the things aren't so large. Let's explore these ruins here. Next question approaches an ancient monument. The structure appears to be the tomb of a great leader. An inscription reads, Passerby, wherever you may be, I was once king of kings. Grudge me not, therefore, this piece of earth that covers my body. Fifty science is a lot of science at this point in time. Plus two to uh, our what was that charisma, I believe. Yeah, plus two to charisma. That will help our civics. Yeah, I'm not going to do that one. Let's do that. I think it's too much to pass up in the early game. We'll see. If you think I should have done something else, you can comment down below. Now let us go up here. Harvest that honey. Oh, I'm out of friggin' good. It is me. Oh, I forgot this. The descendants of the prophet Abraham settled in the city of Basor, bringing Judaism into the world. The Jewish believers worship God through sacrifice and the reading of their sacred texts given by God to the prophet Moses. Their dedication is such that they won't pray to any other gods and strictly follow the laws set out by their religious creed. Do you support this new religion? Uh, yes. 
Uh, and you'll notice when you first found a city, it makes a settler. Okay, so that's something I didn't explain either. You get city sites, which you can see here. These are the only places you can settle on. You can't just settle anywhere. So, in effect, city sites become more of a resource uh, than they are in regular civilization or any other kind of forex games that you might be familiar with. Alright, let's end the turn here. Oh, our brother converted. One mistake after another. Ah, oh, he's lost wisdom. Jeez, we gotta send him out. Oh, I forgot the other variant that we're gonna be playing with this game. Besides that we want to win by conquest only. Um, our none of our children can go be anything. They all have to go explore. So they're all on walkabout. That's why it's called a Syrian walkabout. They're all exploring and they're gonna get experience that way in life. Uh, let's see. Harvest that button. Uh, move here and harvest that button. So you can see here, here's a city site that we can found another city on. Um, and of course, you know, other people will want them, so that's something to keep in mind. Uh, yeah, I'll do that. I'll harvest these guys. The warlord of the Vandals presents himself at court. He says his people traditionally cement goodwill with a newly met tribe by sharing the bounty of their next hunt in exchange for a gift. Takes on by wood. Ooh, I never like to give away wood because it always seems like I take forever to get cans. Perhaps this metal will be of good use. And we will not be intimidated. I don't want to go to war. I guess I'm going to do that. Even though I really don't like to. Um, what's over here? Nothing. Okay. You swing and you miss. Out of orders, in the deal. What I would like to do is now the head of Judaism. Oh, or cough now. He went, for, he went from cautious to upset. This is perfect now. Now my brother who is already a dummy, is setting up his own rival power base in the religion. Yeah, that's, uh, traditionally, I'm pretty sure that works out well for our empires. As long as we're here, we might as well harvest the lavender while we can. And ladies and gentlemen, if you never learn anything from watching this channel, harvest the lavenders while you can. And the horses. And the gold. Oh, you're the first to discover this landmark. What will you name it? Haliachman River. Yeah, that's honestly what I was about to call it, but that's fine. If you only want to pre program it, that works out well. Okay. So you can see you're trying to stay on hills. Uh, oh, here's another city site. Um. I mean, I think our next city will probably be over here. Just because it's right there. Or maybe our third city will go down here. And I think probably one of our families uh, automatically connects um, to our city, no matter what, like uh, trade network wise. So it might be good to put that city down. Oh no, I don't think it'll matter because it's on the river, on the water. Oh well, in any case, I'm thinking, and that's what matters. <clears throat> Man, I'm still recovering a tiny, tiny bit from the uh, COVID, and I don't know if I had it again or with the variant that I have, it's just you, you feel like shit again, but I feel like crud again. Oh, my brother, my heir, seems never seems to keep his word. And now he's deceitful. I, I really don't think this is going to end up well for us, but I don't want to... Shrines? Uh, I actually think that might be really good. Shrine of Ninurta, plus 10 XP, that's like, what, a barracks? A barracks right now early? That's not bad. Might be nice to put in our capital to get some extra um, extra shield production there. 
Um, okay, yep, you're done. Go here. Put some nuts on that one. Let's see. Gold. Harvest that. Uh, let's see. I'm going to... No, let's harvest that because I'm running out of coal. Let's go here, and then here. Oh, we found the Persian Gulf, ladies and gentlemen. That looks like it might be a really nice city site. I'm going to check that out next. Okay, end of turn. There's always a lot to do every turn in the old world. Ooh, a marriage proposal has arrived from the Erisham family for your king. For you, King Ashurbanipal, the founder. Do we want oligarch? Oh, that means she is the head of the family? That might be really good, right? Let me see. Erisham family. Yeah. Oligarch Adadi of Asur. She's a zealot. Uh, negative one to science, though. Hmm. Sarai the hero. That's negative two wisdom. Yikes. And negative two discipline. That's not good. We can't afford that. Oh, we can barely afford this negative her. You know what? Ashurbanipal is happy living the bachelor life just a scooch longer. He's out. He's harvesting game with the fellas. Speaking of uh, being with the fellas. Uh, let me... Oh, the Black Sea. I'm finding all the seas. Let's add a general. And it's going to be you. Uh, you know what? It's actually going to be Sarai the hero. Something happens to you. Well, something happens to you. You know? It is what it is. What it is, what it is. All right, so that's like another big thing in the game, right? Compared to other games, is you have to choose families that rule over your cities. Uh, yeah. So, Asura, we just built a settler. So you can see in your city, you have growth, you have training, you have civics. Those are the things that your city can produce, okay? Every time you choose one of these things, that production doesn't get added to your global values, which are what are displayed up here. Okay, so you need growth units here, these little faces, heads, bars, whatever, to build these things. This is per turn, and they also cost this up front. So 100 food, so you need 8 years of training, and they also cost 50 food. Alright, so it's that whole thing. Also different, you have specialists. These are the unemployed citizens, or these are the citizens you have that can be used to make new specialists. And these are the specialists that you have. And then this is the discontent level that you're at. And you want to try to not be discontent as much as possible, obviously. And you have, you can spend these civics on projects to improve your city, as well as specialists, you know, to hire them. So what we're going to do probably is build another, I think, a worker now. Um, because we really need to get our empire moving. And I think we're going to move... We could even found the city right now. Uh, I think I'm going... I'm going to take a chance and find it there. And it could be, like, really bad for us, but... Okay. Sargonids. Ooh, it adds a garrison on the founding, so that's good. We're going to start with Steadfast. What is Steadfast? Versus Tribal, which might be nice if we decide we want to go to war against the Vandals. Let's start with Sentinel. Unlocks the Hunt. I think that's a growth... Uh, it's a growth project. Uh, I'm 90% I'm sure Hunt is a growth project. It would be nice if it brought that up instead of what actually... You know, the procession, the, the progression of the hunt, rather. 
you know what, maybe, what if I, yeah, there we go. Plus one, plus, uh, so you get food, plus you get extra growth every year. So that's nice. Um, this is for range units only, you get Sentinel. So that's good, international territory. Plus our camps and the nets get a bonus, but I don't think we're going to have camps or nets that we see. And this one down here definitely will have nets. So why don't we do that? Oh, look at that. They have died just like uh, the Phoenicians. That's awesome. Okay, so what do we say? Uh, steadfast? Yeah, right, because these guys are going to do Yeah, okay. All right, and we have sheep. So that's not bad. Here's our garrison. And you can have a governor right away as well. So, Oshipia the Witty. Oshpia the Witty. Okay, sorry. Uh, let's do, uh, let's do Nindu of Zala, the carpenter. Yeah, he's a builder. As a governor, our builder, our improvements will be done faster. Yeah. That's good. Give us some more money. And let's get a slinger going, even though we could really desperately use a warrior. That's fine. Our next worker will come over here. And let's see. Okay. Almost out of units, but that's okay. Marble. Border dispute. Almost immediately after discovering the Scythian encampment, our troops are threatened by warriors at its border. Insults are traded. Weapons are drawn. Our units stand at attention, ready to act on our commands. What are your orders? Uh, yeah, give them gold. That's because that's, yeah, we, we love it. <sighs> yep, we took one of their citizens prisoner. That's what happens to you guys. Fuck you. I mean, pardon me. Boop you. <laughs> Sorry, guys. Okay. What? Our men find murals depicting creatures, rituals, and battles. The style is reminiscent of the Vandals, leading us to believe that this tribe was perhaps a precursor to their own. Our troops warn against desecrating such a site. Vandals are very protective of their culture. Of course, there is much to be learned from these ruins. I do not want to offend the Vandals. Yeah, we just offended the Scythians. Well, let's just not, okay? Let's, let's not say we did, all right, this time around. And in case you're noticing, I'm not touching any of these buttons. I have them, you know, this is one, two, three, four, five, and six. So I use those hotkeys to go through this stuff. Promote units five times, desired by the Sargon, Sargonites, and they're only at plus 74, which might go nicely to boosting their opinion up to pleased, which will give us some bonuses, or boni. <laughs> boni. Uh, we could do six farms for the clerics. I mean, I think if we want to do military anyway, and we can get that bonus for the Sargonids, let's do that. Um, well, that's done too. And we're down here to these nets. Yeah, and I think hmm, what we really need to do is get working on producing more. Um, workers, and another settler here, and then use up some of these specialists. Uh, as we have a lot. All right, over here, and over here, up here, and harvest that horse, please, good sir. Then you can hide in there. You notice our scout only. Hidden units cannot be seen by other units. Scouts and ranged with tacticians are hidden. So you get a plus 10 attack modifier. Plus 10%, I should say. Not just plus 10. <clears throat> you notice these guys are much worse at uncovering territory than our scout because of their visibility. But they still discover ruins well. Wise man. While exploring the ruins, our scouts are approached by an old, one-eyed man who offers to advise you on certain subjects. Apparently, he was king in some land. The scouts are keen to leave the area due to sighting several unusually large wolves. Says so there's only a short time to talk. Werewolves? Hmm, apparently, right over there. Uh, heed his advice. 
And so we gain courage by heeding his advice. Heed his advice on trade. Yeah, let's heed his advice on trade because I feel like that's where we are most desperate at the moment. Uh, okay, and then, okay. That is a nice little city site here for us, right around the lake here, the Black Sea, I guess. I think I'm way into it. Although, if we're going to be nice to the Vandals and mean with the Scythians, it might have been nice to have this family seat here. Although, there's some Scythians here right above us, and they have salt nearby, and ores right nearby between us as well. Oh, but they're already Jewish. Well, who knows what's going to happen between us. There's many a slip twixt a cup and a lip. All right, I think I'm going to play one more turn here. I think I'm going to promote our man first turn. First thing we got. They're back again, huh? Her again. Eh, I'm still kind of iffy on you. Yaba the Younger, yes. Yes, 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 I will do that. Plus two orders. Erisham opinion goes up even more. I'll take it. Oh, tonight is our night, lady. I'm gonna have fun and make a baby for our kingdom. Don't you know that you'll be winged on? Whatever that means. Okay. And there. Oh, the Gulf of Akaba. I don't even know where that is. The Gulf of Akaba. Uh, we could force March, spend some uh, of our shields here to get an extra uh, order to move some more, but there's really nothing I need to see. Uh, well, you know what? We Let's end it right here. So I think we're in not a bad place. We have another worker on the way, another slinger on the way. We're going to build another settler after that to come down here and found our third city. Um, our fam third family seat as well. And then I think we're going to think about bringing this Slinger down here, and maybe this Slinger down here, take out this barbarian camp for a fourth city. And then let's start thinking about... Oh, look, here's another one up here, but I don't think we'll be able to get to that. I wonder if there's a city site up here, or maybe there's a coast up here we can link around. Uh, but we'll see. All that and more coming up in the next episode. Um, if you think that I made a bad decision, you should post that in the comments and tell me how bad I am. Um, if not, you should like and comment on how good I am. And then you should also subscribe, even if you hate me, so you can hate watch me. And then go have some ice cream and feel better about things. All right, everybody. Thanks a lot. Have a great time. Take it easy. Bye-bye.